So I was cooking, making a chicken sandwich, just like any other day. I turned the stove off, the pan was still sitting right here, and I could still smell something burning, so I moved it, and a bunch of stuff was on fire down inside the burner. Pieces of, I don't even know, I need to take this all apart and investigate, but something in there was heavily on fire. So I had to bust out the fire extinguisher and blast it down in there, but it all went into my drawer, because that's under there as well. So I had to pull the drawer out and make sure nothing was on fire in here because if that propane line would have caught on fire, I think that potentially could have made my five gallon propane tank explode and that would have just destroyed my entire ambulance. Ugh. Now I have fire extinguisher stuff all over my cooking area and kitchen and drawer and still got my chicken sandwich just sitting there being all sad. I'm gonna finish eating and then figure all this out. Actually, I'm gonna run outside and shut the propane off first because I'm a little bit scared about that. Ugh, it stinks. Propane is off. I'm gonna leave this open and let it air out. <coughs> now I gotta take the stove apart, figure out what the heck went wrong. How the heck this got in there? This is the top piece in the eraser for my dry erase board where I make all my lists. I guess this means the whole thing melted in there and this is the only piece left. Very glad it wasn't any of the connections in here. From looking through, it kind of looked like it was one of the pipes that was on fire and that was scaring me because if that propane explodes, goodbye ambulance. All right, well, I guess that's good. But now I have to freaking clean out all this stupid, fire extinguisher material stuff, whatever it is. Luckily, I already had my shot back out. I was cleaning up the floor and works out great now. How in the world this got in there? It's a GoPro screw. There was also a big piece of insulation down in here. I am mind blown that all of that was in there. Very lucky that none of that caught on fire earlier. Oh yeah, gotta clean all this out. I still gotta clean every single thing in that drawer, but I'm gonna start putting this thing back together and then I'm gonna get on the road. But hey, at least I got nice views, right? All right, the whole situation is good now. Everything's all clean, put back together. This knob broke off, unfortunately. So I only have one and it doesn't even, it's like loose now. I don't know what the heck happened with those. So only one little casualty. That's not too bad. Now I might go to Mexico. Sarah hit me up and wants to drive into Mexico. So maybe, maybe that's what we're gonna do. I don't know. All right, we're leaving the ambulance behind once again and hop it in Sarah's van because she wants to go to Mexico. So that's what we're gonna do. No idea what we're gonna do there, but we're going. Ready? All right, we're in Sarah's van. A mess as per usual. Say that to my face. Sarah, your van is a disaster. I mean, Toby, you stink really bad. It does, it's so bad. Toby needs to go get something taken care of. He's a smelly, smelly guy. Well, let's go. I need to get an energy drink because I'm... You want truly? That is not an energy drink. Wait, do you want your socks? I don't do alcohol. I don't do socks. Oh, here's an energy. That's not energy. That's oh, like hippie it. energy. I need chemicals in my body like Red Bull. Yeah, not losers. <laughs> or am I the loser? Am I the wrong one? <laughs> it's a disaster in here. And we're getting searched. Oh, what do you want to have? Do I need to come out too? She opened that back door and was like, what is that smell? Get out of here. <laughs> you guys are good. I don't need to see anymore. That wasn't too bad. No, that was pretty chill. All right, now where? <laughs> Toby, what's wrong? 
Yeah. Shelby, come say hi to the. Do oh, no, don't come up here. Because you stay. Yeah, yeah. All right, we found some place that she has been to in the past, I guess. We just had a little bit of a mission trying to park. Parked in the wrong parking lot, and the guy came over and said we had to move, and then we moved to another one. All right, we ended up at this place called Splash. Pina colada, margarita, chips, salsa. We both got meals coming. For like a plate of chicken tacos, it's only like $7. And we get to be right next to the ocean. And this isn't even that far from where we always stay in California, so I don't know why the heck we keep staying over there, spending so much money. I mean, I would never go to a place like this in the United States because it's way too expensive. But down here, living large. <laughs> What are we gonna do now? Are we going back to the United States? No, we're just gonna wander. He's watching you. I'm gonna get ya. Van life, living in the van. You should subscribe. He lived in an ambulance actually, so it is pretty cool. You should show him a picture of your ambulance. He don't have time for that. Uh, yes, but my dog's not friendly, so let me grab him. Where are we going now? Oh, just San Diego. Which way do I go? This way? <laughs> well, they're going this way. Let's <laughs> go this way. <laughs> My bad. Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> Can't take this girl anywhere. She's voluntarily driving into a secondary inspection. <laughs> All right, we're back in the good old US of A. Just got out of Sarah's ProMaster. Hit him with a hua. <laughs> that was actually not that bad. Usually hers are really bad. But we're back. We're at Sandy Vans here. <laughs> what? <laughs> well, uh, <laughs> we're at Sandy Vans. I don't know, I don't know what the plan is now. <laughs> You're not gonna include that, are you? I am. Thank you. Smile. Let's fast forward about eight hours <laughs> since I left Sarah and my friends and I are driving to the top of a mountain so that we can see sunrise above the clouds for a nice cloud inversion. There's not much to see other than this right now. I'm sure the views are incredible right now, but we unfortunately can't see anything. I will show you guys them in the morning. I'll try to get some night shots for you if I can. I'm not sure if that'll work or not. I'll do my best for you guys. And you know, in the middle of the video, I just want to stop and say thank you guys for following my channel. I appreciate all the support from you guys because without you guys, this like this stuff would not be possible. I'm gonna cruise to the top of this mountain and I'll see you guys when we get there. I'm pretty sure there's gigantic drops off to the side. My friends are way behind me. They stopped at the bottom of the mountain and I decided to get a head start because I knew I was gonna be way slower than them. I'm sure they're gonna be catching up to me sometime soon and I have another seven miles to go up this very steep incline of a hill. But the ambulance is crushing it, so. See you guys at the top. I don't know if you can see the lights over there. I can't look at the camera right now, I gotta keep driving, but my friends are over there somewhere on the mountain. All right, we're driving through the cloud layer now. By the time we get to the top, we're gonna be above the entire cloud layer. So it'll be a giant cloud inversion and we're gonna be able to see the moon way above the clouds. And we're also probably gonna be some of the only people to be able to see sunrise because everyone else is gonna be completely stuck in the clouds down in the city. Probably about another thousand feet of elevation to go up this road, oh boy. Okay, this is the last stretch and it is super freaking narrow. I'm clipping the trees on both sides with my mirrors and the whole side of the ambulance, but gonna be worth it, I promise. Big old bottles here. Oh, this is bumpy.
Okay, that was a lot worse. That last stretch was pretty freaking bad. It was really rocky. Uh, my friend's pulling up now. I'm gonna see where we're going. That was kind of gnarly. That was pretty bad. Are we going this way? Yeah, we're going straight up. All right, let's do it. That's the camp spot. All right, I'll follow you. Somehow my friend just did all of that in a Ford Focus that he bought for $3,000. Other friends behind me are in a Jeep Grand Cherokee, I believe. But we are at the tippy tippy top. Oh, 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 hit a big bump. Didn't see that one, my bad. I don't know why I'm apologizing if you guys are riding with me, but you are riding with me. This is the end of the road right there. Um, we're way above the clouds, but you'll see that here shortly. We freaking made it. They got like weird police lights up here. Dude, this is insane. This doesn't even look real. No, it does not. What? I'm going to bed. There's a million mosquitoes out here. It's also 4.30 in the morning. I'm gonna go take a little couple hour nap until sunrise and get up and get another sweet time lapse of the sunrise. Pretty excited for that. But for now I need to go get a little bit of sleep. A couple hours, that's all I need. All right, catch you guys in a little bit. Bro. <laughs> Yo, are you good? <laughs> Bro, I just saw feet sticking up. <laughs> I literally just heard a slam and then I look back and see feet. Good morning for real this time. I went back to sleep. I was freaking exhausted. We got up here at like four in the morning. Then I woke up at like 5.30 for sunrise. I actually got some sleep. Now it's like 10.30. It's just me up here. Everyone else had to, had to leave, but look at this. This is incredible. I'm probably one of the only people in the San Diego area that's in the sun right now because it's all covered in freaking clouds. Like every day it's been cloudy here. So it's really cool to actually be in the sun up here. But I'm gonna go cook some breakfast and I'm also gonna fly the drone because I feel like what kind of guy would I be if I didn't fly my drone on a sick mountain like this? Except there's a lot of towers up here and a lot of power lines running around. So hopefully I don't crash it. Guess who's feeling lazy today and is just gonna take a bunch of ingredients and throw it in a wrap and eat it and call it breakfast? This guy. A little bit too big. There's some World War II bunkers 1.2 miles away from here. I'm gonna take the e-bike with the last little bit of percent I have on this thing. It's at 35%, so hopefully that's enough to make it down on these bunkers and back. All right, check it out. Online it says these are World War II bunkers, but kind of looks like jail cells to me. I don't know. This one's pretty creepy. And it sucks, there's a ton of trash in here, but this like, this 100% looks like a jail cell. Lock that thing. Like you could legit lock people in here. Worst sound ever. Yeah, this is very, very creepy. If anybody watching this knows more about these things than I do, which it's not saying much because I don't know anything about these, but they look like jail cells to me. Online says World War II bunkers. Either way, they're pretty cool to see. There's some more right here. So I'm gonna try to hike right down there. I don't think I can get the bike down there, but I'm gonna go check out those ones too. 
just gonna leave the bike inside one of the bunkers while I run down here just so it's not sitting out in the open because there's a lot of other people driving around up here. And I've already got my battery and charger stolen one time. I don't need the whole bike going now. Ooh. I did not prepare for this. <laughs> no shirt and just wearing flip flops. Gotta keep an eye out for snakes. Ooh. And down I go. This one looks way cooler, way bigger. Whoa, it's just crazy. Just in the middle of nowhere, there's nothing around for so far. Big old bunkers. Oh, this is creepy. What was this place used for? Fight Club. This one looks more like it could be a bunker. Hello? This is so freaking creepy. And that concludes our tour of the World War II bunkers slash jail cells slash who knows what they are. Not me, that's who. I gotta hike back up there, get to the bike, cruise up to the ambulance, and I'm gonna start making my way down this mountain. It's probably gonna take a while, way, way up here. The bike didn't get stolen. It's a good day. We can see the ambulance right there. Not good quality, but up on top of there is where we gotta go. Back to the ambulance. Very bad news. This is normally where my ramp goes and it is no longer here. I lost the bolt that holds it down, but it still stays in place really well. But I think on this bumpy road, at some point it must have bounced off last night when we were driving up here. And it's a heavily trafficked road by off-road people. So I'm assuming somebody probably just grabbed it. But I'm gonna look for it on the way down. I really hope I find it. Now I have to freaking lift this thing up into the ambulance. Blah. It wasn't pretty, but we did it. All right, let's hit the road. Well, I was worried about this. There's a truck coming up this little tiny road as I'm going down. Uh, I think he's, he's slowly backing down now because there was no way I was going to be able to go backwards back up this thing. My mirrors got pushed in by the trees. There we go. That truck turned around and just took off. I'm guessing that he must have thought I was like some sort of official vehicle up here, like an actual ambulance or a fire rescue truck or something. Because he just took off. 